G'day ladies and gentlemen, game number two here between these two excellent players. Top right hand side, as we've mentioned before, a wonderful Terran player here currently playing for Team Axiom. It is Hart. And I mean, he did, he did what he could. I mean, it, I hate to say it, like I, I, I don't normally, I, okay. I'll rage and balance wine, but just because that's it, it's not actually an issue with balance, it's just because I'm quite bad, but um, I mean, there are certain points of TVP where it is just very hard, and this is why we're currently looking at um, the balance patch that uh, has been deployed to the test map uh, to try and fix things up, because late game it can get very frustrating for Terran players, and I mean, especially on a big map like uh, uh, like Ultazim Stronghold, which has now been removed from the map pool, it gets even harder because the Protoss can pick up three bases very easy, they can get to a fourth as well, and as long as they're able to deny Terran harassment, which is one of their key features, um, I mean, it just gets quite difficult, but... Uh, Axiom, not not to take anything away from Pro, uh, by the way, just because he's uh, he's an excellent player in his own right. It's just uh, it's a big map and it's a very hard one to work with when you've got to deal with a Protoss player. But our Protoss down the bottom left in the blue, doing an excellent job in the previous game. He, as we said, had a very safe, solid kind of build. Was able to deflect a lot of the any type of harassment that his opponent was able to put on from Echo Esports. It is Probe. See, as I mentioned, um, Probe sticking with that very solid kind of style. They're opening up with the Templar-based build, leading into some uh, some interesting Phoenix additions there. I haven't actually seen Probe do uh, that sort of, uh, I think it was five or six Phoenix or something like that, that he pulled out and um, sort of just, just kept his opponent at bay by uh, knocking down a lot of the medevacs during the early game and then also making sure that if uh, if any attempted drops were made, that they either get, they either paid for it quite dearly or that they didn't even make it in in the first place. So uh, really cool to see that addition there, but as, uh, as a standard there for Probe, just adding in some uh, Templar play, getting some Storm, getting some Archons and those kinds of things, and then flicking it across when you tear an opponent. It thinks that they're on the right mark there to, uh, to try and stop your Templar. Flick it over, double Robo Colossus, and it just, uh, it was a lot of firepower that Probe had available to him. So... We'll see what uh, what Hart is able to do here in game number two. The Zealot now just coming down to try and move that SCV away. Just going to shoo him away for the moment. Reaper also just coming across here, and uh, he'll be able to try and target down this Zealot. You just need a little bit of micro to keep that Reaper alive. You shouldn't ever lose this Reaper um, to the Zealot. I mean, perhaps if you're very new to the game, you might lose the Zealot, but uh, you shouldn't lose the Reaper. Gonna get away for the moment. Gets a few more shots on that Zealot. The Mothership Call provides some covering fire though. And now as we can see, we've also got a Stalker on the way. Warpgate Tech also coming through, but everything looking pretty standard here on the Protoss side of the map. Meanwhile, for our Terran player, also very standard. Couple of uh, extra racks now just uh, coming across here. We can see that the uh, CC is just about done. And we've got, yeah, no, I guess no real, um, like not too much deviation from what we normally see from the Terran players. We'll probably see that factory get started very soon. And uh, for the moment, Hart's just going to get out a bunch of Marines, make sure he's protected against any early sorts of uh, harassment that might come about from our Protoss player. But Probe's actually going to change things up a little bit this time. We've got a Robo Facility has been started, and um, he's going to try and prepare for a different path here. And I'll be interested to see if he's going to go, like, Blink Stalkers or something, or if he's going to uh, uh, just try and... Uh, you, you still can go for the Templar play, obviously, with the, with a Robo, but um, we'll just see exactly what he wants to go for. So... Um, for Hart, as we can see, Stim on the way. These Marines, you might be wondering, why is he sitting them in here? This is actually just because if he scouts out that his opponent is going for um, the uh, the Stargate, then you can split the Marines one way or the other, make sure that the mineral lines are protected, and um, as you can see, he's now, now that he's scouted through, and he actually saw, sorry, let me just grab it again, he actually saw that there was a Robo and no Stargate here, so he actually just sort of let that go and um, didn't really worry about protecting the mineral line, so he's just going to protect the front now, so that's why we had that particular positioning. But for Pro, 
getting a lot of his uh, workers out and it looks as if we'll have this just early harassment here from uh, Hart. This is kind of a normal sort of thing you see from Terran players. They love to just sort of push at this moment just trying to see if uh, they can find any weak spots. Perhaps the Protoss has gone very greedy with their tech. Maybe they've gone like Double Forge and a Twilight after the Robo and they won't have as many forces on the ground to protect. Um, but obviously one of the big things you'll have as a Protoss is this Mothership Core. So the more Mothership Core energy, the worse it is for a Terran player. So what you want to do, force out that overcharge, just say, hey buddy, I'm coming in, and then just run away. Now as, as for why we try and force out that overcharge, if you have a Mothership Core sitting about with a full 200 energy, that can actually throw down the Photon Overcharge on two bases at once. So say for instance, in about five minutes time, if um, if Hart wanted to bring in a, f a, a couple of medevacs here and actually try and attack this base uh, just across from the side while also pushing in the front door, if the Mothership Core only has available energy for one, Probe has to make the choice. Do I do I overcharge this Nexus or do I float over here and try and protect the main base with the uh, with the Photon Overcharge? And so you want to be able to make sure that the Pro that the Protoss cannot um, cover both with a Photon Overcharge because it does do a reasonable amount of damage. So this is what we can see. This is why we see uh, Protoss players throwing out that old uh, Photon Overcharge to protect the base. And that's why you see the Terrans making sure that the Overcharge is not available to at least twice. And hard. I mean, it's, he's going to be careful with that stim. He doesn't have his medevacs just yet. They're uh, going to be on the way shortly, but uh, just surprised he kind of stimmed up quite a lot there to go after that base. But just looking at the builds that we've got, Probe is uh, just adding on quite a few gateways here. We can see him picking up plus one. He is going for the Templar-based uh, play here. So a mortal just poking about, trying to protect this uh, third base area here. This marine looks as if he will get away. Oh, actually, no, he won't. I'm silly. Actually, I actually meant to say he won't get away, but it came out as he will get away. I'm serious, guys. Um, anyway, so Hart continuing to produce some of these medevacs here. Uh, he'll be throwing down the extra racks soon. We've already got a couple just going down now, but we'll probably see a few more coming across shortly as well. And Hart just cleaning out some of these observers. We can see that Probe did have around about three or four out on the map at the moment. But we are now down to just the lonely one, which is trying to keep an eye on this front door section here. Now, Hart is going to try and push forward. He's got a lot of Marines. He does not have... Uh uh, he doesn't have too much extra cover against these Archons, but he's just got to be a little bit careful about how far he pushes in here because his stim is uh, obviously chewing into a lot of the health that's available on these units, but now he's forced pro back and is uh, maybe going to be able to get a cancel here on this Nexus. He didn't actually focus it down, decided to go for the pylon first, so the Archons and the charge lots are now, are now just coming across and uh, it looks as if Hart will have to get out of there, may even lift up and get out because uh, these units are very, very low on health right now now but uh, he decides to avoid that for the moment looks like there will be a drop inside the main one cannon to protect this position here but also the Templar archives is uh, quite exposed we'll see if Hart is able to get some damage done some zealots warping in they will charge after the units and uh, forcing Hart out of there for the moment but across on the other side of the map the Archons and zealots are now just trying to deflect the rest of these forces here these guys damn they are so greedy they're gonna be very careful here and getting sliced apart there like you're on an episode of Jamie's Kitchen or something because uh, those units are very, very low on health. The probe actually finding the uh, that initial drop that was trying to go into his main base and is going to be able to cut up quite a lot of these units. Zealots with their uh, with their plus one weapons and plus one armor, very, very strong. You've got to be careful with these guys because they will do a lot of damage. And um, I mean, for probe now, he's going to have his storm tech research researched in just a moment. Sorry, I almost almost coughed there. And uh, this is going to mean that our Protoss will be able to push. So we'll probably see Probe just moving out on the map. I would like to see him perhaps grab just a couple more observers. I mean, we're just sitting on one at the moment, but uh, normally I, I see Probe is very similar to the to Pig Baby in the way that he plays with uh, having a whole bunch of observers out on the map. But uh, Probe has decided to just stick with the one for the moment. I'm 
very interested to see what happens with that, but he doesn't have a huge amount of vision. As we can see, we don't have any vision on where the, uh, where the Terran army is. We, we're not exactly sure about what's in this third base here, uh, but we will see very soon because the Archon, Zealot, and even that single immortal and these Templar are just about to move in here. Hart being very, very careful because he knows those storms are there and there is a lot of storm power available. Looks as if the Protoss army is going to force the uh, command center out of there. Lifting up the orbital command, out of there goes Hart. Meanwhile for Probe, just making sure that this third base gets established, protecting that against any possible run-bys or drops that Hart may initiate. But now, just still, just deflecting this uh, this third base here, he's just able to sit here and say, no, nah, you can't have that. And I would say in a moment, Probe might even just uh, recall back home. He can sort of sit out here for the moment and just uh, continue to posture himself here and uh, keep Hart away from the third base. But um, he also has that option of recalling because the Mothership Core now has all the energy available. But um, he decides to just uh, run back home. We've got some Terran forces now just moving through past the gold base, but there are a lot of Zealots here. Should be able to deal with this force, and uh, the Medivacs are going to have to lift up and get those guys out of there because they are in a lot of trouble. Yeah, backing out just as quickly as they can because Hart knows that uh, he is going to be sliced up there if he sticks around too long. Just looking at upgrades at the moment, Probe just grabbing his plus two on his armor. A little bit slow on that, would have liked to see that a little bit earlier. His uh, Robo also just going down now, but we can see that Hart is attempting to move forwards and uh, gets a decent EMP off on the Zealots, but the Templar have actually not been touched at all. There you go, a snipe and another EMP, beautifully done by Hart. Should be using this ghost to perhaps... no, nope. doesn't get the extra EMP off. Stims up a couple of Marauders, wants to chase down these Templar here, will get one. Archon morphing in is also going to get taken out, and Probe is going to be forced to retreat here. He's only got one storm available, and uh, not too much else in the rest of this, but his double colossus switch is now on. He's going to be bringing out those big boys very soon. A few extra gateways also going down. We'll probably see Probe head across to the fourth base very soon, and at least attempt to get this, uh, this Nexus set up over here, or perhaps he may look to try and take the gold, but both players need to be uh, perhaps considering their fourth bases soon, unless they just want to go all out and just try and uh, finish the battle right here right now but uh, I, I don't think that's something that Hart can win at this stage his units do have nice upgrades one two but I mean this is a very very small area that you're running into and uh if you run too far, you're going to get stormed on, and that's no good at all and especially when we start to add in these extra colossus so Hart just showing no signs that he wants to uh, set up that fourth base just as of yet. We've got the uh, the three, two upgrades on the way for our Terran player as well. But now that the Colossi are out, he doesn't have any Vikings. He has no way of putting in the big damage on these uh, these very tall Protoss units that are just uh, lumbering about alongside the rest of these units. And, I mean, for Hart, it looks as if he's going to be pretty all in right here. I mean... Yeah, he's just continuing to build up these units. He is going to throw down an extra command center over at his third base, but he, if he gets trapped in here and loses a lot of these units, especially these very gas-intensive ghosts, he's going to be in a lot of trouble because Probe will be, just be able to push back across the map here. Widermine going to take out one of the Stalkers, which isn't going to bother Probe too much. Now, this is going to be an interesting battle because Hart is very choked up here. Widermine's burrowing down, trying to uh, get as much damage as they can. They, they deal with quite a lot of the shields on those Zealots there, but I mean, this is still going to be very, very tough for Hart. But here we go. Probe just running out, and he says, let's do this. Some of the Templar at the front, a little bit low on energy. They decide to switch into the Archons there, and I mean... It looked it looked decent for Hart. It's just the problem was with, with no Vikings, he can he has no real way of dealing with the Colossus, and without being able to smash down those Colossus with some of those Vikings, I mean that's uh, that's pretty much going to be a troublesome fight for any any Terran player, regardless of how good they are. So. Probe just holding things together for the moment. Fourth base going up for him across to the bottom right hand corner. And Hart's just going to try and resupply with all of these units here. We've now got some Vikings being added in. And we'll see, does he have a second? Yeah, second starport is actually just being added on right now. I was going to say, you, you kind of need double starport at this point. Just because if the Protoss is producing those... Uh, those two Colossus at a time, it's, um, you're never going to catch up when it comes to the Vikings that you need, so Hart just, uh, 
maneuvering around the map just uh, across the right hand side at the moment. Probe doesn't know where he is just yet but he will see him in just a second here and now as he charges down towards this fourth base will he be able to get some damage off on the Nexus? Doesn't want to overcommit because as soon as you pass this line here you're in quite a lot of trouble because the Protoss will come up behind and lay down some of that AoE power that they have but uh, Hart is also pushing through inside the natural base. Beautiful run by here from Altair and play. He's just decided to go for it. Some warp ins here will help out in terms of defending this base. The one Colossus just coming across from the side and another one just on the high ground has just been produced and will come through as well. Hart is probably going to have to back off here because while he has killed off a Nexus there is a very large and very dangerous Protoss force just bearing down on him and just outside the main base it looks as if Probe is he going to uh, he doesn't know about the gold base, just by the way, but uh, he may just actually just decide to go straight for this right now. Hart's still continuing to try and put on some pressure here with this double drop pushing down the right-hand side of the map. He should be able to do a lot of damage here, but the main, main fight is actually inside the natural base of Hart. And as we can see, the Immortals, the Archons, the Templar, the Colossi, and the Zealots on the ground are going to be doing so much damage. Probe just going to make the angle of attack a little bit better here for him. Only a few Vikings up in the sky, some excellent storms. There we go, Hart getting trapped on his own two feet there. Just getting stuck and eating up the storms there, full blast. And while the Colossi have started to fall down, that is going to be the end of Team Axiom's Hard. And I mean... Really great work from Probe just to hold off a lot of that aggression. We saw some uh, some punching left and right from Hart, but unfortunately just not able to deal with the large-scale AoE power that was produced by Probe throughout the mid-game and then, of course, here into the latter stage of the game. Hope you enjoyed that series. I'll catch you all next time.